Look at this in beautiful Ione, California. Nice uh, small redneck enclave in the uh, central Sierra foothills. Soils composed of laterite clay, Eocene laterite clay, 50 million year old laterite clay soils that formed in a very warm and humid environment like much of North America was during the Eocene. And it's, uh, of course, home to the, the rare Arctostaphylus myrtifolia, which is getting set back a little bit by Phytophthora. A species of Phytophthora, I think it's Simomomy, I don't know. Cinnamon, whatever, whatever, the hell, however the hell you say that. But look at this interesting lichen. This ground lichen, which forms an almost gelatinous substance just right here on the, on the surface. And then, of course, the soil is super iron rich because it was weathered over a very long period of time uh, in a warm and humid environment like a swamp. But I still can't get over this little, looks like a rock, but it's not. It's like gelatinous. It's like a jelly. So you can see this Arctostaphyla species has been here a long time, long enough for it to uh, become a specialist on this type of uh, very harsh soil. And that blue one up there is Arctostaphyla visita. And again, I think this is, I think I own, I think this area is the only place that this, this uh, Manzanita subspecies grows and it's very, very tiny flowers. I don't think it necessarily looks like a myrtle, but uh, the flowers are so small. And you rarely see it taller than two feet. Here you got viscida. So-called uh, viscid as an adjective means sticky or adhesive. And uh, this is called viscida because uh, the glands, it's got a lot of glands basically on the inflorescences and on the buds before they come out. It's a pretty widespread, it's a pretty widespread mains. And no idea what this one is. I'm going to have to key this out. I think this might just be Arctostaphylos species manzanita. I don't know, we'll look it up. So you got three species of mans here. But the soil here is one of the most interesting, at least to me, coming from a geology background. I mean, you just, you have so much going on. You've got this really thick clay, and then you've got this, this stuff that weathers really easily over here, all this red stuff. And you can see, is it's got these basically these little pillars uh, where the rock has protected the soil beneath it from the rain really eroding it. But uh, you could see, I mean, who knows how much erosion or how long it took for this much uh, depth of soil to erode. Oh yeah, and then there's this really interesting quartz quartz chunks everywhere too trespassing on in a, uh, uh, a closed quarry. I don't think they might. They don't mind. Look at this. I don't know what this is. If it's just a... I guess it's just mud. I guess it's just shale. It's like mud that's in the process of becoming lignified. So weird. Nice exposure right here. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that boundary line. It's so stark between that white and that red. That white, I'm guessing, is just some sort of sedimentary, I guess, maybe calcareous sediment layer on top of a much more iron-rich, more oxidized layer of mud. Yeah, laterites are so confusing. I gotta read up on this shit, because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm confounded, utterly confounded. This stuff almost looks volcanic, and when you touch it, it just crumbles. Look at the clays. It's nice. It's got a nice texture to walk on. <clears throat> Is that bentonite or what? I don't know. What was going on here in the Eocene that created this? Some of the weirdest geologic uh, settings I've seen in a while. The texture of this is unreal. <laughs> you can see why there's some uh, local floral endemism in this. There's supposed to be a nice uh, fossil flora here, too, uh, from the Eocene. I just wonder what type of rock it's in. If it's in this, you can see little bits of carbon. But uh, this clay has probably been weathered too much. <laughs> Find a nice Eocene leaf impression. 
Anyway, here's another endemic plant. <clears throat> this is a Ariagonum apricum, a variety prostratum. Ooh, it's already got a little uh, inflorescence coming up. Irish hill buckwheat, polygonaceae. Oh, look at it. Ooh, heart shaped leaves and a long petiole. Oh, look at that, too. Look at that. That's so nice. Isn't that nice? I don't even see that it was about the flower. It's not about the flower, but it's got buds on it. Only known from uh, the laterite soils of beautiful Ion, California. Look at each one of these little black dots right there is an Ariagonum. It's Ariagonum apricum uh, variety prostratum again. You could tell it's called prostratum because it's got the prostrate, not prostate. Prostrate inflorescences. I always got to do that. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. Sophomoric humor. And each, we see on this, this, they like, they really like this white chalky stuff. But each one of those little black dots is the same thing. This uh, very localized endemic species of Ariagonum that probably took God knows how long to evolve and uh, become a specialist for this soil type.